The player wishing to progress in this game has got to start thinking about where this white ball is going. What do I do, need to do to get it into such a position? Now that applies really from day one. Yeah, but let's be honest, you mustn't try to run before you can walk. So here you've got to accept your limitations and learn, from, try to learn from what you're doing. So here I've set up a, a nice simple pot capable of being potted well within, within a beginner's range. And all I'm doing is just gently stroking the ball into the pocket with a small degree of topspin from there. What I'm trying to learn from that is, okay, the pot, I've got to assume the ball's going into, pot it, into the pocket and that is automatic. What I'm really concerned about is this white ball. So here, I've got the white ball there, just, just with topspin, nothing else. All right. Now if I play the shot again, from the same position, and all I'm doing is coming down on the white ball. Right, just applying a margin, a fraction of stun. And notice how it widens the angle uh, from the, where the cue ball leaves the red. I've hardly applied anything any different at all. Right, just applying a margin, a fraction of stun. So here, there's the white ball into that position. Now here, I'm getting through the ball, remember, the pot is automatic, I've got to decide that that red is going in. So here I come down the white again, you know, just a fraction more, get through the ball. And again, I've widened the angle that the white has left the red. One more, come down even lower. even lower on the white from there so first one's up there coming down 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 all the time just marginally and see where the white ball's gone this time then we start thinking about okay we've come off at 90 degrees there we want to start thinking about a little bit of screw now yeah so i'm coming down even lower on the white into this position, lower still, and you can see that there are all sorts of extremes that you can get to, just by plain ball striking, coming up or down on the cue ball. Plain ball striking, that's all it is. So you get the idea. Now that takes practice. You've got to have the discipline to, to put this into perspective and in, start thinking, well, the pot's automatic, but I want the next one to be automatic as well. And to do, do that, I've got to know where this white ball is going. I want every shot to be as simple as I possibly can make it. But equally, accept your limitations. You can't play this shot if you can't screw a ball back. You might be able to play the one there, where, you know, it's just a stun. But once you start screwing the ball back, if that's beyond your ability, then just screwing the ball back needs practice. Yeah? Point the cue, make sure you've got plenty of chalk on your cue. Hit the ball at the bottom and get through the ball. That's the way to play a screw shot. Right? But it's no good screwing back six inches if you only want to screw back three inches. Equally, it's no good screwing back six inches if you want to screw back 18 inches. You've got to start thinking about your technique and practice. Right? So equally, if we start thinking about coming off a cushion now yeah we'll just put all these balls back so now i'm interested in what happens when the ball reaches a cushion 
I'm still playing plain ball, right? But here I've got topspin, maximum topspin on the ball. Let's see where the, the ball has struck the cushion. All right, we'll put a red there. That's where the ball hit the cushion. Now I'm coming to this one. I'm still applying topspin, but it just marginally come down the cue ball, just fractionally. All right, and it widens the, ang the angle just a little bit off that red. So there we've hit the cue ball. The cue ball's struck the cushion there. Let's put that one in position. Again, this one, same shot again, just marginally down. Centre ball striking all the time on that vertical line, but just down on the cue ball, a fraction. You see how I'm widening the angle, still coming off the cushion. Takes practice and lots of it, all right? But just get up and down on that white ball. Experiment. Don't start thinking about playing shots like long blues and screwing back to ball. If you're not ready for it, it's pointless. All right? Don't run before you can walk. Build your game up progressively. It won't happen overnight, but if you work hard at it and do the correct thing, it will come eventually. Good luck with that practice.